News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Hello and welcome back to News 46. I'm Noah Began with your weather. Today is Wednesday, March 8th. Today we had sunny skies with a high of 72 degrees. Your average around this time of year is only 64 degrees, so it is a lot warmer outside than it usually is this time of year. The EV index today was 5, which is moderate. Winds were coming from the east at 4 miles per hour with gusts up to 7 miles per hour. Humidity was at 16% today. Sunrise was at 604 this morning, and the record high in 1972 was 86 degrees. Tonight we'll have clear skies with a low of 49 degrees. Your average around this time of year is 10 degrees below that at 39 degrees. Winds will be coming from the north northeast this evening at 6 miles per hour with gusts up to 8 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 35 percent. Sunset will be at 545 this evening and the record low in 1962 was just 21 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have sunny skies with a high of 80 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. The UV index will be 5 which is moderate. Winds will be coming from the south at 6 miles per hour with gusts up to 8 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 22% and sunrise will be at 602 tomorrow morning. For our 7 day forecast against sunny skies tomorrow, we'll have mostly sunny skies on Friday, so just a few clouds outside there. Partly cloudy skies on Saturday, sunny skies on Sunday, mostly sunny skies on Monday, and sunny skies next Tuesday and Wednesday. Your high temperatures will be starting off at 80 degrees tomorrow and that should remain in those low 80 temperatures all the way through early next week, only getting down to 79 degrees next Wednesday. Your low temperatures will be starting off at 53 degrees tomorrow. That'll go up to the 56, 57 degree range Friday through Sunday, going up to 59 degrees on Monday, almost 60 degrees, but not quite. And then that'll go right back down to 57 degrees on Tuesday and Wednesday. Thanks, Noah. A public meeting hosted by the Nevada Site-Specific Advisory Board will begin at 4 p.m. on Wednesday, March 15th at the Frank H. Rogers Science and Technology Building located at 755 East Flamingo in Las Vegas. The board is federally chartered and comprised of rural and urban Southern Nevada residents who provide recommendations to the Department of Energy regarding environmental cleanup resulting from historic nuclear testing and waste management activities at the Nevada National Security Site. For more information, you can call 702-630-0522. So you're excited about that switch because uh, well, we're talking about yeah. tying Southern and Northern Nevada together. Yeah, well, you know, the tech nerd in me, uh, yeah. I'm more of a techie guy than anything, mm -hmm. loves that and is fascinated by that. Uh, you know, I love our towns up through uh, Western, Southern, Northern Nevada here, mm -hmm. our little towns, and it's so exciting yeah. to see them getting connected. Exactly, and you know what it does is it brings a, a lot of industry to um, um, people can work from home That's right. with fiber optics That's and right. people can move here and we can have different businesses that they can communicate to Vegas or all over everywhere. So yeah. we'll see what the future has to hold for that. They're talking about IPTV as well and hopefully KPVM will be on there. We, yeah. We've done some interviews about that, That's Internet right. Protocol Television. So that, that would be like a, a box that you get That's just in your living room or wherever you have your TV mm -hmm. and you plug it in just like a cable box yeah. but it's with an internet connection. Right? Yeah, And Internet TV over their broadband or fiber optics and uh, so we're going to find out more in the near future. They're talking about maybe five months for that. Wow. So that's lots, exciting. Lots to be cool. um, looking forward to. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that's going to wrap up this edition of News 46. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Zach Reiner from all of us here at KPVM and Ace Country Radio. Thanks for watching tonight. We'll see you here again tomorrow. Good night.